A bill to further lower Kentucky's income tax continues to move through the General Assembly. Today, it was debated in the state Senate. Phil Pendleton tells us what it said. This bill easily passed the House a few weeks ago, and today in the Senate, it was pretty much the exact same thing, the same arguments for and against it. It took just 10 minutes for the bill to clear a Senate committee Wednesday morning with eight yes votes and one member passing. The full Senate called it up Wednesday afternoon. The people for it and against it were clearly among party lines. Republicans say that it's needed to return money to working Kentuckians and to make the state more alluring to businesses and to create jobs. But Democrats say that it helps the wealthier people and it really does nothing for the poor as it provides little relief for the majority of Kentuckians. What we say we're giving away with the left hand, we're actually taking back from the right hand. They think it's the government's money first. We know it's the people's money first. And with this tax cut, another $650 million a year will stay in the checkbooks and the savings accounts of the people of the Commonwealth of Kentucky. So as this bill moves through the legislature, the plan is to drop the state income tax by another half percent in January. The plan is to eventually do away with the entire state income tax. Now, Governor Bashir has stated that he is against this. He is expected to veto it. In Frankfurt, Phil Pendleton, WKYT. Last year, the General Assembly adopted a number of new taxes on services and products, but it isn't expected to offset the amount that will not be coming in from the income tax.